Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Men in position to meet plenty of women. Now check, check it out, check it out. You know, that is a big thing, let's be real, a big thing is men simply meeting women. Indeed, that's why a lot of guys are caught up on uh, social media and what's happening on dating sites because that's the best way to, uh, for, many of, for many men to meet women. And uh, yeah, and you got some people, uh, they'll say, yeah, go out and meet them in the streets or something. But what if the uh, environment you live in is not conducive to that? Like, for example, in the area I live in, it's really not conducive. Because, you know, I'm living in, a, it, you know, it's the county seat and everything, but it's not conducive. It's not too many places you're going to go and just be hanging out in the streets and say, yeah, I'm going to meet some women there. You know, if I was going to do that, I would have to, you would have to be in a major city to really do any type of uh, street meeting. And even that, there's so many things involved, uh, so many factors with that. That's not even as effective as it could be. Now. Let's be real on something. There's many men in positions where they're going to constantly meet women. Now, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example from my own life. Now, before I've said I've talked with literally thousands of women. And let me be clear with that, because somebody sometimes some dudes will say thousands and act like they slept with them. I'm like, no, I just said talked with them. Now, somebody might say, well, how, how, how could Rom do that? And very easy, just what I did for a living and stuff. Like first starting on, uh, you know, the campuses of two different universities. And then even the second university still using the gym there. You know, so meeting plenty of there, pl plenty there. And then I always talk about the gym. I've been not only a member of different gyms, but I've worked in uh, three different gyms, primarily doing sales. Two of the gyms were connected with hotels and, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there at the desk and everything. And, you know, some, you know, some traveler from out of town will come down and say some stuff, you know, talk and everything. Indeed, I know about some hookups I ain't going to get into on the air between a hotel guest and one of the workers at the gym. <laughs> Shout out Cousin T Talk, because he pointed out in his book, The Seduction Scriptures, personal trainers, that's a male thought profession, <laughs> and I'll leave it at that. But even just doing sales or being an attendant at a gym, you're meeting plenty of women, not just the regulars, but if you had a hotel-connected gym, you got women coming from out of town. Okay, boom, boom. Now, I'm talking about my personal thing again. I've said I've worked retail. I've said I've worked retail met plenty of women there but i'm gonna tell you one of the best places i've met women oh one more place um even when i was working in the government there were a lot of positions that uh was around a lot of women like anybody who has a job working around a lot of women some dudes just have jobs where there's nothing but women there all right and then um i'm gonna tell you one of the best places i would meet women see i've told people I got hard copies of my books. One of the things I used to do consistently was vend, was vend. And I would just meet people right there. The women particularly would come right to me. Like uh, I used to vend at a lot of uh, like uh, events that were primarily catered to women. I used to like be selling my books there because you know, of course some men gonna come too, but the women come up and I'll just be sitting there chilling. Sitting there chilling. All of a sudden, that fine woman with the big butt don't come walking up. She come wilding up. Hey, these some nice books and everything. Oh, yeah, okay. You know, I remember one time, this real fine woman. I was selling some stuff at a fashion show. I used to vend at a lot of fashion shows and everything. But boom. Now, just to be clear, this ain't about me. I'm just giving out examples. Now, you get men, depending on what they do, will meet a lot of women. Like this dude, uh, I remember this dude I worked with in uh, government. He had a part-time job working as a shoe salesman at a department store. And the numbers he would get was crazy. I mean, seriously, like they actually had sex with him. All he was doing was selling them some shoes. He was doing the more positive Al Bundy thing for those who remember married with children. <laughs> but. You got a lot of men in those positions. It's my, you could halfway call them thought, male thought positions. 
you know, like I said, personal trainers, boom, or sales or sales. Because I remember one gym I was doing sales at, if a woman came in, I, shoot, I'm already counting my commission. I'm already counting my commission. And shoot, and indeed, just real quick at that one gym, a lot of women, they, they weren't trying to work out. They were manhunting. They, they come in in a cat suit and makeup, perfume, and all of that. But, and there's plenty of a position. Seriously, if you're, in a sale, if you're a man in a sales position, and you got women coming in, shoot, you're going to meet some. Yeah, you're supposed to be professional and stuff, but shoot, the woman will carry it along. She think you look nice and everything. She'll try to carry it further. And like I said, it worked retail. I've known plenty of dudes, like either with other coworkers or like uh, people coming in, women coming in, and they were just like, man. <laughs> but that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. Just putting yourself in an environment where there are women. Indeed, I know this uh, old school player, he said, shoot. He called it a target rich environment. Literally, he said, he said, shoot, if you're a dude, you want me some women, go to your shoot, take a yoga class. You'd be one of the few men in there. And it, it, he broke it down like this. He said, you don't even have to, you don't even have to like go out your way to meet anybody. You won't be one of the few men in there. All you had to do is go in there, just be, you know, cordial and everything. The women will eventually make their way to you, the ones who are interested. Because they'd be focused on you, be like, you're the only man in there or one of the few men in there. Boom. Like target rich environments. And indeed, going to the gym and everything. Just going to a gym. Going to a gym. If you're working out, you ain't even trying to meet women. You're just doing your workout. In fact, you should be more focused on your workout anyway. But there's always going to be some women checking you out. Like a lot of people, they'll hit me up with little stories. And even in the comments a lot, they'll say, yeah, I was just working out at the gym. This woman was coming near me, all of that. And I'm gonna tell you what, don't look down on those things because let's, let's just be real with it. Online dating, that's, shoot, you, you might as well go gambling somewhere. Because first of all, you don't know how many are catfish on there. It's still mostly men on those things. And then you got some women, they just, they just, they ain't even hunting for a mate. They looking for a sucker. They looking for a sucker. And then the online period, but if you're in environments where there are plenty of women, you're going to get something. And the beauty of it is you don't have to even go out your way. Just be chill. The game will come to you. So, you know, and it's like, it's like one of those things. And, you know, if you're not working in one of those positions, just being in those environments, like I said, that yoga studio analogy, just going to the gym or something. In fact, I remember, uh, <laughs> I, I remember when my co-parent, as uh, my co-parent, she, she used to teach yoga a lot. And she was at this particular gym and everything. And I peeped how guys were starting to show up to her class. <laughs> I was like, man. I mean, they would try to holler at her, but if they, if the guys were kind of chill, they would have noticed there's plenty of other women looking at them. <laughs> yeah, but there's plenty, seriously, if you think about it, if, this is particularly for guys who really want to meet women. It's, it really is hard just to meet women walking down the street. I don't care what, how many fake videos people show of people doing that. Because if a woman's out and about, she usually ain't trying, especially during the day, she's working. She, she, she's in a hurry, you know? And you notice I also didn't say, uh, you know, the clubs and everything. That should be obvious, but uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff there too. So, but if you're just in just a regular place where there's plenty of women, it could be on the job, it could be at social events or something like that, it's, it's plenty, plenty of ways to meet. Plenty of ways to meet, you know? You, it could be, you could go to an art festival and stuff. You can go to an arts festival because there was an arts festival in my area and stuff. And there's plenty of young women there who had their own tables or booths. So it's always someplace, but just you gotta put yourself in a position for that, all right? Peep the game there, peep the game. All right. Like, like I said, if you work in like anybody who sells or worked in sales or something, especially sales that cater to women, like shoe sales or something. Oh, I know y'all got some stories. Y'all got some stories. 
or I've known plenty of players who were working in retail and stuff like that. And then, if, especially if you're in sales, you automatically got a mouthpiece. You automatically got a mouthpiece and you got to look a certain way anyway, because that's part of the sales thing too. Because like when I was working uh, at one of the gyms, there was this one uh, top sales, this top salesman, that dude talked very little. Women would sign up for his particular gym because they thought he was fine. So it's like, boom. That's why I said before, salesmen, serious salesmen, some serious players. Because no, one, they got a uh, fix up. Two, they tend to have a lot of sexual charisma. And three, they have to have a mouthpiece. They're, they'll have the total package. But, and usually they're in positions where they can interact with plenty of women. So just peep the game there, all right? So anyway, that's all I got for now. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.